All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So we're going to be taking out the Joseph Stalin III, the IS-3 tank. This was the most requested tank, although the Panther II did get a decent amount of secondary um, choices. So let's see. This one, the projectile mass is 25 kilograms. That's also 25 kilograms, but it's armor-piercing high-explosive ballistic cap. So that's going to be our primary one. We'll have HEs just for the tits of it um, and we will go with the southern spawn point because we're a big old heavy tank so probably one of the most iconic things about the IS-3 is that pike in the front of the tank chassis alright so we are gonna switch out rounds we're gonna get a feel since we're um, gonna be using the 122 millimeter gun Look at how long the reload rate is. Now, the IS tanks in particular were renowned for having extremely long reloads. Um, the good thing about it is this thing's going to have like some really, really good slanting. That pike in the front, like, I mean, it's going to be beast. We've, we've got a lot, like, the armor is going to be great. I'm going to really looking forward to kind of looking over it in the X-ray mode after we complete this map this game here and then we've got a rounded turret so this thing is pretty beefy what I do like about this tank is that since it was produced in 1945 it's like within the scope of you know what we're used to here and it's not so overpowering you know it's not like a Korean era where are these guys we'll fire Oh, we actually hit the top of the plate. We got a hit. That was a Tiger too. Can't see him. But we'll, we'll head over that way. See what's going on. It's basically down the main path. Now, we've got pretty decent turret traverse. The traverse rate on this tank is... Seems not good, but I mean, I guess we were on a hill, so let's, let's get a feel for it. It's actually... Not too well. I guess it kind of depends. I think it's the terrain right now. So we've got a ISU-122S heading up. Let's see, where do we want to go? Left or yeah, we want to go left. All right. So now the tank traverse rate is kind of low. We've got a Panther up here. Shouldn't be a problem for us, even with his pretty good penetrating 75 millimeter gun. But, I mean, think about that. That Panther's got a 75mm gun. Pretty good fire rate compared to my 122mm gun. But, um... We're trying to put ourselves into the fight. Oh, we got... Ooh. Right through the gun, but we didn't get near enough fragmentation. Oh. Wow. That Panther... Crested that hill and got knocked out by a T-54. T-54s have 100mm guns, so the IS-4M and IS-3 here, we've got like the biggest guns. So I'm curious what's behind that hill. I just got an assist on something. Must have been that Tiger too. So this Yag Panther is going to lead the way. I'm going to follow him up. We've got a shell loaded. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was a stupid shot. That was pretty dumb, given our reload rate. You have to, you, you can't really make stupid shots in this tank with a 122 millimeter gun. Like, look at that. We probably could have gone up and got the finishing blow instead of letting, I think, it was it the Yag Panther? Oh, no, it was the guy behind us. So we're pushing up. Can we get a sniping shot on this Panther? If we can see him, we can hit him. You know what? These shells. I wonder if we should switch to the default. But the projectile mass was the same. I should have done a little more research. Taking a closer look because... I feel like we should be... That panther I felt like we should have hit. Even at that distance and even where, where we hit him. Just didn't seem to have enough separation of the shell. So we got an IS-2 mod 1944, my little brother. I'll be happy to take him on. Oh my gosh, we're totally routing. 
We're totally flanking. I'm playing exceptionally aggressive here. Alright. Let's see. IS-2 right through the turret, actually. Our first kill. But, I mean, that... that goes, look at that. Right off the turret. Oh, and that was a Ferdy. So once we're loaded... I guess he would be facing us, but... Let's see. Can't really tell. I'm trying to hit that lower plate. Someone hit our gun from this. Our T-44 is aiming at us, but I mean... We have very little lower glacis. It's extremely difficult to hit the lower glacis on this tank. With our pike front of the tank. So this T-54 is going to be coming up. Unless he just died right there. And we're we're ready for him. I'm not going to be repairing. I don't. I feel like I don't need to. Game's going to end relatively shortly. Hmm. Oh, we got to repair. Now, am I supported? I don't believe I'm supported. Oh God. See, look at the mobility of this guy. Now, if it's going to make me stop in repairing, this is going to be bad. You cannot move 16 seconds, so let's try to fake him out. T-44. If we can survive this, I'd be pretty surprised. Suspension damage, we can take that. I think he's looking... Come on. Oh, we got to reload now. Dang, because we would have had that kill before the round ended. But it just wasn't to be, but you, we, we got taken out right there by the ISU-122. So that kind of goes to show you. Now, we didn't do that great, actually. We got three assists. And I wonder if I need to experiment with the main gun a little bit. But we will check out the armor. Because this, I wonder... I actually want to compare the IS-3. So, yeah, look at the effective thickness on that. You know, in most cases, it's, uh, let's see, 110 millimeters thick, but it's extremely, and even this bottom, this bottom glacis is just as thick, so this is actually worse in most cases to aim here, because the effective thickness is going to be greater. In the turret, you have 220 millimeters of thickness, and it's rounded, Oh my gosh, the effective thickness is great. Don't shoot this thing in the turret. Let's see the gun mantlet. Wow. The gun mantlet, I don't know if that's gun on top of... Oh yeah, well... I guess if you were to shoot it from the front, that's exactly where you'd aim. You'd probably have a better chance right there on the side of the gun mantlet than anywhere else in the front. Actually, right here's a nice little soft spot. But, um... We're going to have to get into another game and check it out. Let's see any inherent weaknesses. <laughs> I guess you... Oh, see, I like how um, the ammunition is low. I think that's pretty good. The German tanks, the ammunition is a liability. They just kind of put it all over the place. I guess there's ammunition, but that's all in the turret. Very difficult to pen there. Here, I guess if you're going to pen, aim low, but you may hit suspension. I'm not actually sure... How that all works, let's take a look. Yeah, there's little bits of thickness. Yeah, you could definitely shoot through all that. What's this little? Yeah. I think if you hit smart, aim for the ammunition there low. Anyway, time to hop back in the game, see how we do. All right, so we are back in the IS-3. It is like 3 a.m. I'm crazy tired. I've been playing that Grand Theft Auto, and I am loving that game. I'm trying to come up with something to where we could do a system like we do where, you know, in this one where, like, I take requests or whatever, or ideas. We take ideas. Alright, so, we're loading our armor-piercing high-explosive ballistic cap shells. We're gonna pull over here. Skirp, skirp, skirp. Dude, I'm so used to, like, the speed of Grand Theft Auto vehicles right now. I've been playing that for, like, a couple hours with Fly. We're basically doing a series called the life, like, the life of a criminal, where we start out with no money, 
and we just have to rob everyone like online and do random little quests and like try to get rich and buy stuff. All right, so, oh gosh, SU-100. If I had decent gun depression, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, that rock right in the way. Oh man, we could have popped him. Can we still? Oh, we can hit this panther. Boom, right in the back of the turret. You dead, son. And we'll probably be able to get this guy too, actually. Our reload time is long. It is 122 millimeters. Part of it has to do with, like, very cramped turrets. Boom. Look at that. One shot, one kill. So we already got two kills. In our second game taking this thing out. We got a Tiger 2 over here. I think if he's facing the other way, should be able to pop him, actually, yeah. Oh, he pulled behind that rock. Smart. But if you pop... Oh, tits! Shot us right inside of the turret. That came from over there. Oh, it was a panther. Poor little panther. But that's exactly where we want them to shoot us, if they're going to shoot us at all. Is in the turret. Because it's just beast. Our turret's just straight up beast. Alright, so we're going to be pulling up. Two kills. Sitting pretty. Getting getting hulled down as much as possible. Find a tiger too. He's he's pretty safe and secure there. Oh man. That's that tiger too. I'd love to pop that thing. I would love to eat me some Tiger 2 right now. But yeah, these, um, one advantage of the turrets is they're just like so beefy. Oh man. Here we go. Can we get the. There we go. Poor guy. Right in the side, man. Right in the side. Look at that. And see? Hits us right in the front, man. We got all kinds of. Oh, yeah, he's in a really nice spot up there, actually. It's going to be tough to break him out. Oh, bomber. Oh, really? Interesting. See, that's the thing. Our shells don't seem to do enough damage. That was a Tiger 1. SE 100's on the move. We're just bouncing these things. This guy wants to duel. We'll duel. Oh, he pulled out. Use these rocks. See if we can't hit this guy. Gun depression. Typical of Soviet tanks. But yeah, so the advantage of the turret is survivability. But the one of the primary detractors of it is... um. Let's take this guy out. Wow. Alright, so we got to pull back. That guy hit us, I think, in the gun. Penetrated through the gun. One of the few places he could have done it, so we'll pull back and repair. But his, like, crew compartments are very cramped. You know, you can imagine, think about that. That was one of the issues with, you know, the T-34. Tank will be repaired very quickly. Cannon breach repaired. Right through the front of that gun, man. Alright, so how are we sitting? Three kills. Putting it, our team's just. We have all three caps. They've got no chance, man. Oh, bomber flew right over me. Goodness. That was scary. Alright, let's finish this guy off. Man, tell you what. Oh, right in the turret ring, interestingly enough. Not enough to kill him. Let me kill assist, we'll take it. We're gonna shot on this guy. Someone hidden over there. Where the tits does that come from? Was that him? I don't I don't know actually. 
I don't know where that came from. Oh, yeah, it's definitely this guy. Oh, and he's hull down. Or yeah, he's just peeking out. We'll hit him and proceed. T thirty four fifty seven. Poor guy. What are these guys doing out here? Fighting against me. The king, man. Joseph Stalin three, baby. What you gonna do? Come on now. Oh. Panther. Oh wow, they're behind us. They are behind me. Come on, gun depression. Oh, that was stupid. Ooh, so we got taken out by the Tiger 2. Meets the Porsche turret. Where to hit? Oh yeah, the side plate as we showed earlier. Pretty weak. And we weren't angled enough. Be nice to like see if the tank are they uh shell trapping works on that Porsche turret. <gasps> Alright, so that Panther's playing sniper. But we're a big bruiser and they're capping B, so I wanna see who's down there and say hello. Oh my gosh, the Yag Tiger. Well, we did decent. Look at that. Yeah, man. With this, you actually wanna, you don't really wanna slant your tank if they're gonna be shooting at the front of the hole. So we got killed by a Yag Tiger. So we'll take out the T-54 just to close out the game because they're actually taking two of them. I don't know if they'll get them in time. Oh, I would have loved that shot. Took out my panther friend. 100 millimeters. Who wants some? Well, we'll take the victory. So IS-3 overall impressions is pretty beastly. I did learn. And it was, you know, it's just habit. You're used to like slant, you know, moving your tank, angling it just a bit. But you actually want to face them head on because it's already got all the angling you need and if you do you actually make the surface flatter so the effective thickness actually decreases so let's I'll show you what I mean yeah so here we go I was basically like this I faced them there right so the effective thickness here is 153 millimeters now if I were to face them head-on 200 200 plus right and then this little spot here is weak. We got we got nicked right there, man. That is that is really weak. 30 millimeters of thickness. Holy crap. That's absurd. And there's a nice little weak spot there. Effective thickness is 80, but still at tier 5, that's a nice little spot, man. You got to remember that right there. Yeah, even like that. Effective thickness is smaller. Yeah, right there is a nice weak spot. Yeah, there's actually a couple of pretty weak areas even when facing the front and then on the side. Man, 30 millimeters of thickness. Good lord. Tier 5, that thing's just... I mean, a lot of things can penetrate this thing right there. So keep that in mind. This thing is good from the front. Extremely vulnerable from the sides. Anyway, let me know what tank you guys want me to drive next and check out that Grand Theft Auto series. Anyway, my name is Baron. I thank you all for watching. Pull the trigger on that like button and uh, share the video with a friend and I'll see you guys soon.